gates on this very last day. Many a poor woman was taken inside. For a child who went out was ashamed to hide. The neighbors would scowl and the priest condemn. So the family would send her away in the end. Once that the sweet little baby was born. Away from their mother, they were immediately torn. And she'd work and she stayed there for a year with no pain. And he sent on alone one lonesome day. The mothers did moan and the babies did cry. But they never made it in until the day they died. So they knocked on the door every day for years. But the nuns would say, be gone with those tears. Sometime later in 75, two boys jumped the wall in the orchard to hide. Their fall cracks a slab, they push it aside. Find skeletons of the babies that nuns tried to hide. Such a terrible sight they never did see. But the priest said, hey, boys, now listen to me. I said a quick prayer, everything's okay. The sight was bulldozed the very next day. Now a very great woman, Catherine Corliss, she just couldn't put her poor mind to rest. She heard local stories and nothing seemed right. So she investigated through many a night. 796 death sets she found. They don't mention it all of a very old ground. They worked in the graveyard, where could they be? The whole wide world would soon see. The excavation team dug down deep. What they did find made them all weep. The remains of babies were a couple months to three. Their souls now finally set free. I'll sing this song 796 times. Once for each of those terrible crimes, the organ that plays a slow funeral tune. And cheers it up by a cold evening moon. Dark age tale. 
Thomas Lee, he's a man or a farmer by him. Stood up straight and tall. They tried to take his home, or they tried to seize his land, but he couldn't be bought at all. Well, they gotta look compassionate with an electorate to woo. 
The inner city comes together, protests growing by the day. For the man answers, they won't go away. The commissioner points Hanley to investigate his own men. Who's in Store Street, 20 years they could have been his friends. The stone is rolling now, it's picking up speed. Maybe an inquest will provide the answers that they need. But the whole thing is a circus, all arms of the state in play. The jury splits 43 anyway. Guardy stores are conflicting, they can't even settle on one. And no one can explain where the blood in his clothes came from. Why they move his body from the cell to the hall? Ah, why they take so long to make that ambulance call? Now amnesty are calling for a public inquiry Where witnesses can be cross-examined as independent and free The ombudsman is set up, this is their litmus case It's a total way to watch their compromise, it's a waste he died behind closed doors, the doors is closed too. They're about to be busted open, a light shine on the few. An old melody ringing out, telling the story anew. The next generation to sing and keep alive what's true. Our homeless under the pillars of the courts and the GPO. Will justice ever be served? I don't really know. The family are laying flowers three times a year. A sergeant pulls them down each time to keep his conscience clear. When they kiss their kids on the forehead and leave on a little light to make them feel safe through the middle of the night. When they walk back downstairs to gently caress their wife, they forever remember taking Terence's life. Thank you.